Hey guys, this is Comic You Know, and today I'm doing a review for Convergence Just League of America issue 2. Before I start talking about Just League of America, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Um, I do have the Geeky Awards nomination video up, so be sure to check that out. Uh, there's more information about that in the video. Um, also, of course, I have Comic You Know episode 98, and that's a show where I review all the comics I read this week in one show, and here are those exclusive comics. We got Planet Hulk issue 1, Uncanny X-Men issue... 34, Guardians of the Galaxy issue 27, Convergence Green Lantern Corps issue 2, which I also have an in-depth review on Comic Frontline 4, Convergence The Flash issue 2, Little Mermaid issue 4, Daredevil issue 15.1, and Convergence Adventures of Superman issue 2. So if you want to go check out all those all those reviews, go to Comic You Know episode 98, which is annotated. But let's talk about Convergence Just League of America issue 2. Uh, this was one of my favorite Convergence books that came out um, throughout the first month of Convergence. Um, I was extremely happy to see Sue back, um, Sue Dibney, because she did die back in Identity Crisis. Um, a good, like... <laughs> over a decade ago, um, and she was such a great character, and it's just great to see, um, her back with, um, with Elongated Man. Uh, so it's actually in her point of view, and it's still in her point of view in the second issue. So if you miss Sue, there's still a lot of Sue here. Um, very cool cover, um, really like the artwork for the most part. Um, also, um, interior art is pretty good. There are times where the facial expressions are a little scrunched? I, I guess that's the word to say it. Um, hopefully I could find a page. Like over here, it's a little bit weird. Maybe facial expressions, like bolting out eyes here. Uh, so yeah, just little scrunched faces. Uh, just the faces really, um, is the problem I had with the artwork, but overall, pretty good artwork for the issue. Let's see what's going on in the story, though. So here in the issue, we get to see that, um, the Justice League of America, or at least what's left of the Justice League of America, because it's Zatanna, Martian Manhunter, and Aquaman are stuck in a dome, so what's left of the Justice League of America, kind of the B-list team, um, including Elongated Man, um, they have to defeat the um, Secret Six. Pretty sure that's what they call them here. Yeah, it's the Secret Six of another universe. Um, and they're heroes, so it's kind of hard because they're both heroes and they're like, should we fight each other? We kind of have to. Um, and then also another story going on is that Sue is going to help the, the the police try to get the other three members out of the dome. Um, and along the way, man is actually able to convince his team and to convince other people saying, hey, we shouldn't be fighting each other. Um, or at least we should try to come up with a plan to, you know save both worlds, doesn't end up working. Zatanna is able to escape and she's the one who defeats the Secret Six and brings them back to their own uh, world, uh, which pretty much probably means that they're dead. But uh, Zatanna does kind of save the day, but really it's Sue because she's the one who's able to get them out of the dome. Uh, or their own dome. It's a, a smaller dome in the Convergence world. Uh, and that's what happens in the issue. Uh, and Along A Man's the hero by the end of the issue somehow. Um, and he's like, well, even though we're kind of the B-list team, we're still the Just League of America, and I'm proud of that. Uh, and I liked the issue. I thought it was a really solid issue. And uh, I do think the first issue was a bit better, but I, I do think at least from... The other Convergence books I've read, this is a bit on par of the first issue. A lot of the other second issues kind of go downhill with the villains that no one cares about that they're fighting, but here I think it was mostly about the team anyways. So yes, I didn't really care about the villains they were fighting, but they were still a very well done story, especially with Sue's narration that was my favorite part in the first issue, and still my favorite part here. She's very much an active character here, um, which is great to see, because again, it's been such a long time since we've been able to see Sue as a character and, you know, see her active <laughs> as a character because she's been dead for a while, and in the New 52, I don't even think she's ever appeared. I don't even think a long Man's appeared in New 52. Um, but yeah, I just think it's great to see her as a character back, and uh, it was cool to see the B-list uh, characters fail, retreat, and then win the day. And then, of course, the powerhouses save the day in the end, but it really was a team effort, and uh, that was the cool part of the issue. So I thought it had a pretty good story. Um, the fight was pretty good, too, uh, and overall, I thought it was a solid issue. So Convergence Just League of America issue 2 gets a solid four stars, and I say pick it up.
pick up Justice League of America. Both issues were really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Kamiguno. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also in the description below, there's links from my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. I'll see you guys later. Bye.